Hey friends, this is the Mrs. Wolfie from our Half Acre Homestead and I'm going to show you how I'm going to try and keep my cabbages safe from worms this year. Here's our potato patch now and here's my beans. They're finally, they're going all the way up and then they're going to, once they get too tall, they'll drop down and they're almost ready to start blooming. My weeds are crazy. But I'm not worried about it. I've weeded around my turnips and they're doing well. They don't need any more help from me. But I've got, there's, there's weeds everywhere, folks. But like my brother John, once the, the plants have taken good solid root, I'm not overly concerned with the weeds. Once the, once the garden plants are bigger than the weeds, the weeds really can't do much damage. Let's go into the greenhouse. Okay, so here's our cabbage, and it's already got a decent head on it. So I'm just going to take some diatomaceous earth here, and I'm just going to start sprinkling it all over my cabbage. Because this is food grade or feed grade diatomaceous earth. I know in the States you guys have food grade, but all they, all they say about ours is feed grade. Now this is, you can tell by the size of my hand, that this is a decent sized cabbage head. This isn't actually a knee high, it's a little bit shorter. So what we're going to do, is we are going to take this knee high, and we're going to take the central leaves, I'm turning it inside out over my hand here, and we're going to take these central leaves, and fold them up around the head, and then I'm just going to pull the knee high if I can down over the head I guess I should have done this when they were a little bit smaller but you know what what's going to happen is hopefully this is an experiment that the head is going to continue to grow and whatever may be in there will be deflected by the diatomaceous earth this can be kind of like a bank robber cabbage guys this will continue to grow, okay, but this will, the knee high will stop any other bugs from eating our cabbage. And the elastic part at the bottom goes down around the stem and protects it. So, see, we've already got some chew holes there, so I'm just going to continue to do this, and I will keep you guys updated on uh, how this how this turns out all right oh, yeah. and there they are folks my bank robber cabbages